hello welcome to my channel and today I will be doing a flip through of my social media planner which came from the teacher planner and what do I have in store for August because I have ran into a little problem but I'm pretty sure it's nothing I can't fix so if you want to stay tuned for that update and see you know what I have done so far and yes yeah, so if you want to see that please give this video a big old thumbs up and again i want to thank every single person that has supported me every single person that has subscribed to my channel i am either i'm setting myself low on my goals or i'm just like knocking them out of the park but i want to thank every single body that has helped me reach my goals every single week so this week I am I'm thinking about stepping my game up and challenging myself just a little bit more. So again, I thank every every single body. Um thank you all if you have shared. Thank you for all the likes, the comments. I have so much in store. I have just been in a good place lately. So to keep me in that good place. Please keep on hitting that subscribe button. Please keep on hitting that notification bell and keep on subscribing. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the 2018 um, teacher planner. Move my cup. Um, like I said, this is the 2018. So what I did was I grabbed the 2019 sections and I left the 2018 which is now in my planner but I'm not going to be able to use it and that sucks so I will have to figure out what I'm going to do with that so I started using this in May now this is when I first got this planner I didn't really know what I wanted to do what I wanted to track, what videos I wanted to do. Um, I had just got into the use the dates, cover them up with the teacher planner. I will say with the teacher planner, you will go through a whole lot of boxes. And let me see if I can bring it down. Okay. You will go through a whole lot of boxes. That is the only con to using a teacher's planner. That is the only con. Other than that, I love it. But this right here, this is a con. Especially for those that are on a budget and do, and do not have money like that to get constantly get that, this sticker book. Because these came from the colorful box. So, those that are on a fixed income, that will probably be a problem. Because you have to use one, two, three, four, five. You have to use five each week. And that goes by quickly when you're doing every month. Um, this was not a con right here because these let these numbers you can actually get those from Dollar Tree, and you get a whole a whole couple of sheets for a dollar. So that part didn't that part never would bother me. It's just the boxes and having to cover this up. Um, I've seen some people where they use scrap scrapbooking paper again i'm trying to lessen my issues and i don't have scrapbooking paper technically so you just have to kind of like make it work to your advantage so like i said i love the planner i this is the only con that it has okay so that was the end of april so this was that the end of april yeah, that was the end of April and then the beginning of May. The current current page, this is the page that I used to track the top five videos. I usually do that on each channel. I do, I do my stats where I'm doing the watch time, my views, average view duration on both channels, and my IG where I'm tracking my IG followers. So this was May. Again, I was not into 
doing my monthly doing my monthlies i recently got into doing monthly so this was just like my halfway attempt of doing this monthly as you can see i didn't write anything in it and this was 2019 so we go to may again using the colorful boxes um another thing that is good you can also use stencils so stencils come out in handy if you don't have letters to put in here or if you think your handwriting is terrible which i think mine is terrible but if you don't think yours is terrible then great 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 but if you have an issue with your handwriting use your stencils now i have gotten my sense my stencils i can't talk today i have gotten my stencils from walmart so if you see my walmart haul this is where I store all of my stencils. So I don't have that many, but I have enough to, you know, where I could do numbers, letters, days of the week. Um, you know, anything. Like I said, I wrote YouTube over here, IG over there. So there are ways to make it this work. Like I said, using those freaking boxes, that's a lot, okay? So as you can see, I was working. I was filling this baby up. On Sundays, that is when I track my, my subscribers on my channel. So I have two channels, my planner channel, my fiber arts channel. Then I also track my followers on my IG channel and my planning, my planning channel and my fiber arts channel. And then, like I said, down here, I was using this for notes this month I mean May 13th through the 19th I don't know what was going on as you can see if I colored it in I was putting some I was putting something in it smart so this one says get your life together girl bye you tripping you slipping that means on those days I didn't post nothing and I should have done you know just to keep that habit up but I know that on these days I was slipping. So again, if you don't have your letters, the letters came from the same place that the numbers came from. That sticker pack that you get from a Dollar Tree, a whole pack for a dollar. So, like I said, once you run out of letters, then you have to go to your stencils, which that is not a problem for me at all. So as you can see, I try to jazz it up just a little bit. This was my unicorn spread. So then, as you can see, this was my mermaid spread. So everything was in purple. These little swigglies right here is when I had to move stuff over because I had something going on this day. Um, I had something going on this day, so it said not today. So again, my letters, my numbers, Dollar Tree, tracking my sub my subscribers and my followers and then this is when I start putting in this goals sheet so I will usually set up weekly goals for myself to keep me on track so or anything that probably couldn't fit on here or anything that the that I wanted to stick out uh, I could look at this here while I'm looking at my weekly so that was that then this one was a colorful one so again i didn't have i really need to find a shop that does yarn icons um so i didn't have any right here but i had my little planners right here and like i said this was real colorful i did what i did in this one i had fun with it and that was this side again on here i'm not tracking goals yet because I'm just starting out because I was just starting out so I hadn't quite got to the goal the setting subscriber goals and follower goals so I just added in my mini planner sheet just any extra notes that I needed to take and I just popped that baby in there and this one was my beach thing so I had the planners I had the swimsuits the popsicles girl power sunshine in the summertime again i'm not tracking my goals on this side 
I'm just tracking what I'm meeting every month. Every time I look at my stats, um, whatever number pops up, that is what I'm writing right here. So I could go back and refer to those. So again, I didn't fill out the June, which I should have, which I, I could still do um, because it's still on my YouTube and it's still on my, my Instagram would be different. But I definitely could do my YouTube. So that was June and I didn't start in March. So I couldn't do March. And this is April. I didn't have this in April. So the last place we left off was June. So this is where we come in at. So June is right here. So this is my June monthly spread. So I want it to be extra. Let me see if I can get you down some more. I wanted to be extra. I wanted to do a little bit more than what I was doing. So this is June. Now I know it probably looks like it's a lot, but I'm, I promise you it's not a lot. Um, I have my journaling card over here. So if I needed to write any extra notes, then I could do that. Um, I was doing this as my little cheat sheet so I could know exactly what videos I needed to do because I do have multiple planners. So some, I was having a hard time where I was like, okay, did I do that video or did I do that video for that planner or what? So this was like my little cheat sheet, which I'm still going to do so I can make sure that I'm doing all of my planners and giving you plenty of content to look at. And then again, this is my goals sheet. This is a weekly goal sheet. I made it for the weekly. So what we had, I don't know why this is right here, but this was supposed to be my June goal. Yeah. So this was actually supposed to go right here. So it was to get June 10th through the 16th. Uh, my goal was to have 400 subscribers to get 1,000 followers, be amazing, be yourself, work hard, protective vibes, and peace. Okay, so like I said, that was my weekly. I mean, this is my monthly. And normally, I do these sheets to go in my monthly so I can make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And this is like my boss babe spread. So this is where I was kind of winding down, which, which I have started winding down on my colorful boxes so i was using my colorful boxes i had a black and white gray red gold thing going on so like i said i was doing a lot of writing stuff down and i made my gold sheets the gold sheets came from family dollar now they are not your best sheets these are just meant for just to jot down something put it in your planner keep it pushing so this is where I actually started to do my goals, what I wanted to set goals for. So my goal was 400, but I got 420 subscribers. So my goal was for my planner channel to get to a thousand. I was at 846. So like I said, this is where I'm starting to take my goals seriously and I'm starting to track those goals. So again, I did a softer unicorn spread, added my little sheet right here to add extra notes. And I don't think I was as productive in this one as I should have been. Like I said, for those that follow me or know, everybody knows that I have endometriosis. So sometimes I'm able to film and some days I'm not able to. So like recently I was just in the hospital. So I'm still getting back in the groove. I got to go full force now and still take care of myself. So again, I fell off with tracking my goals. So I'm just writing the numbers down, what I have there. And some of the times I do stuff and I forget to write it down. So some of this stuff I may have done and even, and you know, even filmed, but I just didn't put it in my planner, which I can go back and do that later. So we have June 24th through the 30th and I just put a longer sheet because this is the Q&A question 
um, video that I'm going to do. I've been trying to get people to drop your questions down below in the comments. I'm still working on that, so I'm just going to add my own uh, questions to that. As you can see, I kind of slacked off right here. I'm not tracking my goals right here like I should have been. And then I added a YouTube tracker in my planner, which we're almost at 600 subscribers. So, bam! And I'm tracking my Instagram, which we have hit 900. We are almost at 1,000. So, ow! I have made me a dashboard that says YouTube IG trackers. So I made that, you know, that own little section. And this came from a Dollar Tree. Let me put this back. That came from a Dollar Tree file folder. So, so it's different ways to doing it. Okay. Like I said, my password sheet, my 2019 goals, my blog brain dump. I was going to do it, but I don't think I'm going to. Uh, my Amazon list of stuff that I want. Really need to start working on that. Direct sales calendar because I do have an Etsy shop, so some of this stuff I do. And I have a divider for that. So we are now in July. So if you have not seen this video of me doing this current page, Please go check that out. So this is July. As you can see, I'm starting to fill in because I'm starting to do more stuff. So actually on these days, I need to go ahead and start filling this out. Um, I have another journaling card down here where I can add something extra. So like I said, I'm really starting to get into the decorating my July monthly. So then we have July 1st through the 7th and again I just added this sheet for extra writing space so this was the first through the 7th again now I'm starting back to track my goal my goals and the actual numbers so that's that which I have been doing really good and then this was my simply lovely spread Again, this came from Family Dollar. This was a dollar. Um, I think it came like 60 in the pack. Um, I do have a haul video on this. So if you go to my albums and you go to hauls, this will be in there. And this will be in there as well. So this is the 8th through the 14th. Again, I'm doing different stuff. I'm trying to keep up with the theme. I did all of that. Um... The goal was 580 subscribers. Um, on the 14th, I was at 847. Now, to date now, I'm like almost at 600. I'm like six, I mean 591 or something like that. So I'm at 977 followers. My goal was 950. Um, for my knitting channel, I, my goal was 730. I'm at 719, which is different from the following week. Uh, my goal was 5.30. I'm at 5.06. So, it's just a work in progress. And like I said, those hashtags, those hashtags mean a lot. So, I like to put like little sheets like this in here, in here for myself. Um, just any extra things that I need to jot down and then like I said this goes this actually this sheet actually goes with the simply lovely even though this is family dollar family dollar um paper these stickers came from Michaels or the the happy planner um thingamajig but this matches awfully well with this so that's why I did that and this week I am doing a well i've done a lemon spread so the reason why this whole thing is yellow is because again i have endometriosis and i have not done a endometriosis spread in a very long time so i figured it was time that i do that like i said i have a video of this 
um, playing with me. So if you want to go ahead and watch that, you can do that as well. I will try to link it or put it in the cards, in the card up there somewhere. I will try to link this to that. Um, I was trying to find a way to use these sheets and I did not know what to use them for, but I found a way. So I've used, I'm using this for my weekly hashtag um, post that I make on IG. So I know on Mondays, Motivational Monday, Millennium Monday, Minimum minimal Monday, Before the Pen, and I forgot, Mantra Monday. So it has different days and different um, hashtags for that particular day. And if you follow those hashtags, a lot of people do follow them. So if you do have IG, it is imperative that you pay attention to hashtags and use those in your pictures. And again, I have my goals sheet. So I will be setting my goals for this week. And then I will be setting my um, end of the week goals for my YouTube channels and my Instagram channel for this channel because I set my goal at eight I mean at 587 I want to do a a whopping 630 subscribers so if we can get to 630 subscribers I would greatly appreciate it that would be my goal for this week I'm going to try really really hard to get that and yes we're gonna see how that works so the rest of july i can do but this is where we have a problem august this is 2018 um this is actually dated wrong so i would have to redate this i don't have the numbers for these so my plan is to bujo journal my social media i have started to like bujo journaling so a lot of my videos may be may be of me bujo journaling so i just want to let y'all know that that i'm probably going to go ahead and come out of this in um august and if i feel like Bujo journaling and keeping up with my social media is too much. Then I'll just go back and redate this and we'll just keep it pushing. But I will let y'all know that. So that is that. And also, if you all have any happy notes or I am accepting happy mail. So if you want to send me happy notes, I would greatly appreciate it. I love dot grid paper. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. I love dot grid paper. I love filler paper. I just love paper because I love to bujo journal. So, I would greatly appreciate it. And, yeah. So, again, if you like this video, please give this video a big old thumbs up. And that is the end of my social media flip through. And as always... Happy planning and see y'all next time. Bye.